Alrighty guys, we are back with a quick little tournament review of this 2003 Jeep Liberty. Now this particular one is the limited edition model, so this was top of the line for the day. If you would consider the limited edition, because I know it had uh, another package where it's where you could get the roof rack with like the uh, auxiliary lights on top. It looked pretty cool, there's some of those in my area. But I think I like this particular trim. So, to get started, this one does have the 3.7 liter V6. Give your trailer hitch and your Jeep, your typical Jeep wheel in the back with your Jeep cover. Now for being a 2003 Liberty in my area, this is an immaculate shape because all these are trashed by fat redneck girls in trailer parks. But anyways, yeah, this is really nice and I would definitely rock one of these. So anyways, down here to the wheels, these are aftermarket, obviously they are, I believe, they look to be 17 inch. So I'm going to say they're 17 inch and they're right on Toyo tires. Those tires were replaced in 2007, whenever that was. Coming to the front, you have your halogen headlights with your fog lights down here. I know in the newer models, your fog lights were actually right here, which was a really bad design because it looked almost like a high beam. But anyways, very, very nice looking Jeep. I always liked them. Probably said that a couple times already, but down here, you do have a little bit of rocker rust. Um, I don't know how much this is, but being at this dealer, they're probably asking a lot of money for it. So coming into this one, you do have a nice tan gray leather or tan grayish leather interior with your heated seat. Power bottom and then manual back. Leather is in pretty good condition if you want to call it leather. So we'll step on into this one. Now coming over here to the door panels. <laughs> it is all soft touch up here. Over here it carries over to hard, but it matters right here. So yeah, then some aluminum right here. Some pockets down there and your speaker. This is a, I believe, six or seven speaker audio. So come in, once you're in, it's very, very nice. The gauges are beautiful. They almost like look like a Chrysler 300, but a little bit different. Um, leather wrapped wheel, you do have your cruise control, all that stuff, your radio controls behind the wheel. Over here to the headlight controls, headlights and you just pull out for fog lights, um, let's see. Passport is all hard touch, it's a Jeep, so I mean, can't have luxury here, but. And it's also 2000s Chrysler, so again, this is pretty nicely laid out. I like the aluminum finishing and it's cold, so it's gotta be real. Um, two wheel drive, part time, I don't know how, I think it has to be in neutral though, yeah, neutral. But there's all your four by controls, so put that back down. Same as one climb control, all that basic stuff. Auto dimming mirror, you have your moonroof up here, and your trip computer, which is pretty nice. Lighted vanity mirror, mirror as well. Window switches down here. Storage, CD storage. Then there's your locking lugs and all that stuff. Passenger seat. Like I said, this one only has 94,000 miles on it, and it's in great shape. So we'll pop the hood if we can on this one. Well, it's been a while since I made a tour, so it's probably a little choppy. I don't know, right there. So we'll come back here. Your tan leather, gray leather follows through. Now this seat was back a little bit, so excuse the, I mean, materials do all follow through. And this cushion is very, very soft on the leather models. I know not the cloth, but I'll scooch over to this side. Says they probably represent the leg room a little bit better. I mean, it's tight, but it's it's doable. You have a single mat pocket back here, which is pretty cool. Um, overall, it's a pretty airy cabin, not too too bad. Headliner is pretty plush. Window switches back here, Jeep Chrysler style. But we'll get out this door again. I'm just moving around these damn doors. So again, no rust right there. So that's really nice. See, I don't know how this whole contraption works. You hold on. That opens the glass. Then I believe this pulls open. So yeah, there you go. And these are these have a really high resale value in this area, so you can get a crappy one for like four grand. It must be a Jeep thing. I don't know. I don't understand. Popping the hood, it is strut assisted, but they're kind of old. Very clean motor though, so I mean, this will definitely be a good vehicle for somebody. 3.7 liter V6. I do believe it's an older design, but I'm not too sure. So there you go guys, as usual, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all later.